Have you ever felt like you've experienced a situation before? You're in the middle of a conversation, or walking down a street you've never been to, and suddenly there's this intense sensation that it's all happened before. But you can't quite put your finger on when or where. It's a bit eerie, isn't it? Well, you're not alone. This phenomenon is actually quite common and has a fancy French name, déjà vu. That's what we're going to explore today, the curious case of déjà vu. We'll delve into its mysterious depths, trying to understand what it is, why it happens, and how it plays with our minds. Just the other day, I was picking out a book at a store, and I was hit by this overwhelming feeling that I'd done this before, right down to the book I was holding. It was uncanny. This strange feeling, my friends, is what we call déjà vu. So, what exactly is this mysterious phenomenon we call déjà vu? Well, the term déjà vu comes from French, and it literally translates to already seen. But it's more than just a feeling that you've seen something before. It's an uncanny sensation, a sudden and often fleeting impression that the present moment in all its newness is somehow familiar. Imagine walking into a room for the first time yet feeling like you've been there before. Or having a conversation with someone and getting that eerie sense that you've had the exact same conversation in the past. Now, it's important to understand that while déjà vu feels like a memory, it's not a memory in the traditional sense. You're not recalling a past event or experience. In fact, you usually can't pinpoint when or where you might have had this supposed previous encounter. It's as if your mind is playing a trick on you, creating a sense of recognition where there should be none. Déjà vu is a common experience. Most people at some point in their lives have felt it. It's not limited to specific cultures or regions. It transcends boundaries, affecting individuals regardless of age, gender, or background. But despite its widespread occurrence, déjà vu remains one of the most mysterious and least understood phenomena of the human mind. Some theories suggest that déjà vu could be linked to the brain's process of checking its own memories, a sort of glitch in the matrix of our mind. Others hypothesize that it might be related to our subconscious mind, picking up on patterns or details that our conscious mind overlooks. But no matter the cause, the experience of déjà vu is universal. It's a shared moment of wonder, a blurring of the line between the past and the present. It's a reminder of the complexities and marvels of our minds and the intricate ways in which we perceive and interpret the world around us. In short, déjà vu is a strange feeling of familiarity in unfamiliar situations. Curious about what causes this bizarre sensation? You're not alone. The science behind déjà vu is as fascinating as the experience itself. Let's delve into some of the scientific theories that might explain this phenomenon. One theory suggests that déjà vu occurs due to an overlap in the brain's neurological systems responsible for short-term and long-term memory. Our brain has an intricate web of neurons that help us process and store information. Sometimes these neurons might misfire, causing a short-term memory to be immediately transferred to the long-term memory bank. This creates the illusion that we've experienced the present moment before. Another theory speculates that déjà vu is a result of our brain checking its memory systems. It's like your brain is doing a self-audit, ensuring that its memory processing is working as it should. During this check, there might be a slight delay in information reaching one part of the brain a fraction of a second later than the other part. This lag might trigger a feeling of familiarity or repetition, thus leading to the sensation of déjà vu. Some researchers also propose a hologram theory, where every sensory detail in a moment doesn't have to be identical for us to get a sense of familiarity. It's like when you see a particular shade of blue, and it reminds you of the sky on a specific day, even if the context is completely different. This theory suggests that our brains are constantly scanning for patterns, and when they find one, we experience déjà vu. The science behind déjà vu is still evolving, with new theories and research constantly challenging our understanding of this intriguing phenomenon. It's a testament to the complexity and sophistication of our brains and how much we still have to learn about their inner workings. While the exact cause remains a mystery, there's no denying the intrigue that surrounds déjà vu. Ever wondered when you're most likely to experience déjà vu? Let's delve into some common triggers of this intriguing phenomenon. 
One of the most reported instances of deja vu occurs during times of stress or fatigue. It's as if our brains, overwhelmed and tired, pull out a random memory card and say, hey, haven't we been here before? Even when we haven't. This is because our brains are trying to make sense of our surroundings, and in doing so, might create a false sense of familiarity. Another common trigger could be encountering new people or places that have similar characteristics to ones we've seen or met before. For example, you might walk into a coffee shop you've never visited and suddenly feel a wave of deja vu. This could be because the layout, the smells, or even the barista's voice reminds you subconsciously of another coffee shop you've been to. This can also happen when you meet new people. If someone has a similar mannerism or trait to a person you know well, your brain might trigger a deja vu. Your brain is constantly seeking patterns, and when it finds one, it might create a sense of familiarity, even if it's a person you've just met. Let's not forget about dreams. Some people report experiencing deja vu related to their dreams. This could mean that something we dream about, however abstract, seems to occur in our waking life, giving us a strong feeling of deja vu. Lastly, deja vu can also occur when we're simply not paying full attention to our surroundings or when we're distracted. The details of a situation might not register fully in our conscious mind, but our subconscious picks up on them leading to that uncanny feeling of deja vu when we finally focus on our surroundings. So, the next time you're feeling stressed or fatigued or just walking into a new coffee shop, be on the lookout for a deja vu moment. It's your brain's unique way of making sense of the world around you. Let's dive deeper into the role our brain plays in deja vu. Our brain, that intricate network of nerves and neurons, is at the heart of the deja vu experience. More specifically, it's the temporal lobe, the region of the brain where we process sensory input, that takes center stage. This part of the brain is responsible for creating and storing memories. When a new sensory input aligns closely with a memory, even if it's not exactly the same, the brain might interpret it as a repeated experience, giving us that strange sensation of familiarity. Now let's imagine the brain as a well-oiled machine. Sometimes even the best machines can glitch and the brain is no exception. These glitches can result in what scientists call split perception. Essentially, this means that the brain processes a current situation twice, almost simultaneously. The first processing becomes a quick memory, and the second feels like recalling that memory, creating an intense feeling of familiarity or deja vu. It's like watching a film reel that stutters for a moment causing a brief scene to play twice in rapid succession. You're not seeing it for the second time, but it feels like you are because the brain has created an instant memory of it. In some cases, deja vu may be linked to neurological anomalies or conditions, such as epilepsy. People with temporal lobe epilepsy often report experiencing deja vu just before a seizure. This suggests that unusual electrical activity in the brain might also contribute to these feelings of uncanny familiarity. But it's important to remember that experiencing deja vu is usually harmless, a simple hiccup in the brain's processing of new information. It's a testament to the brain's complex and fascinating workings, a reminder of the intricate processes happening within our minds every single moment of our lives. Our brain, it seems, plays a crucial role in this uncanny experience. You might be surprised to know that deja vu isn't just a psychological phenomenon, it's also a popular trope in pop culture. Deja vu has been woven into the fabric of storytelling for years, leaving its mark on movies, books, songs, and beyond. It's used as a narrative device to evoke mystery, intrigue, and sometimes even a hint of foreboding. Let's delve into some examples. In the world of cinema, deja vu has been used to great effect. Remember the iconic film, The Matrix? The deja vu of a black cat crossing twice was a signal of a glitch in the matrix, a warning of impending danger. It helped to build suspense and signaled to the audience that something wasn't quite right. Moving on to literature, deja vu has been used to illustrate characters' internal struggles or to hint at their past lives. In Stephen King's The Dark Tower series, the protagonist experiences deja vu as he travels through different worlds, suggesting a connection between his current journey and previous experiences. And let's not forget the music industry. Deja vu has been a theme in numerous songs, 
often used to convey feelings of nostalgia or longing. In Beyoncé's hit song, Deja Vu, she describes a feeling of familiarity and repetition in her relationship, using Deja Vu as a metaphor to express her emotions. As a plot device, Deja Vu can be a powerful storytelling tool. It can signify a connection between past and present, hint at a twist in the tale, or simply be used to create a sense of unease. It's a testament to the versatility of this phenomenon that it can be used in so many different ways across various forms of media. In conclusion, déjà vu isn't just something that happens in our minds. It's also a significant aspect of our popular culture, influencing the way stories are told and emotions are conveyed. So the next time you see a character experiencing déjà vu, you'll know exactly what's going on. We've explored the intriguing world of déjà vu, but there's still so much more to learn. As we journey through the labyrinth of our minds, it's essential to remember that déjà vu is a testament to the complexity and mystery of our brains. Let's take a moment to recap the intriguing journey we've been on. We started by unraveling déjà vu, that familiar yet unsettling feeling of having experienced a present situation in the past. We learned that the term déjà vu is French for already seen, a fitting name for this curious sensation. We then delved into the science behind déjà vu. It is not a paranormal event or a glitch in the matrix, as some pop culture references might have you believe. Instead, it's a cognitive anomaly that can occur when there's a misfire in the brain's memory systems. While the exact cause remains a mystery, researchers believe factors like stress, fatigue, or certain medications can trigger it. We also explored common triggers of déjà vu. These can be as simple as a familiar smell, a particular place, or even a random sequence of events. It's crucial to remember that déjà vu is not a sign of a problem, but rather a fascinating quirk of our complex minds. And of course, we can't forget how déjà vu has been depicted in pop culture. From movies to music, this phenomenon has been used to create intrigue, suspense, and even humor, further highlighting its universal appeal and mystery. While our understanding of déjà vu has come a long way, there's still so much we don't know. But that's the beauty of it. The mysteries of the mind continue to captivate us, and déjà vu is one of those enigmas that adds a touch of intrigue to our everyday lives. The next time you experience déjà vu, you'll have a deeper understanding of this fascinating phenomenon. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep asking questions.